Hey friends, welcome back to Civil Engineering Mastery. In this video, we are going to discuss about low test for flexural members as per IS 456-2000. Flexural members include slab and beam. So, let's discuss what are all the factors we need to consider while doing the low test for flexural member as per IS code. So, without delay, let's begin now. In IS 456-2000, class number 17.6 is the class for low test of flexural member. In that it is given as low test should be carried out as soon as possible after expiry of 28 days from the time of placing of concrete. So low test has to be carried out as soon as possible after expiry of 28 days from the time of placing of concrete. Next in class number 17.6.2 it is given as the structure should be subjected to a load equal to full dead load of the structure plus 1.25 times the imposed load for a period of 24 hours and then imposed load shall be removed. So this is very important point. So we know what are all the dead load. Dead load include all the self weight of the member and what are all the finishing material we use. It's all included in dead load. So along with dead load we need to add 1.25 times the imposed load. For example, if we consider a live load of 2 kN per meter square, then we need to take 1.25 times of live load. That is 1.25 times of 2, 1.25 times of 2, which is 2.5 kN per meter square. So this much load we need to consider. So according to the imposed load, whatever we are taking in the structure, that we need to consider 1.25 times then the duration is 24 hours after that we need to remove the imposed load here in the note it is given as dead load include self weight of the structural member plus weight of finishes and walls or partitions if any are considered in the design the deflection due to imposed load only shall be recorded so we need to record the deflection due to imposed load. If within 24 hours of removal of the imposed load, the structure does not recover at least 75% of the deflection under superimposed load, the test may be repeated after a lapse of 72 hours. So after placing the imposed load, the deflection has to be recorded. If within 24 hours of removal of the imposed load, the, the structure does not recover at least 75% of the deflection under superimposed load. Superimposed load is apart from self weight, what are all the other loads are coming as a dead load that is called superimposed load. Then the test may be repeated after a lapse of 72 hours. It means after 72 hours, we can repeat the same test. If the recovery is less than 80% then the structure deemed to be unacceptable. Next in class number 6.3.1 it is given as if the maximum deflection in mm shown in during 24 hour under the load is less than 40 L square by D where L is the effective span in meter and D is the overall depth of the section in mm. It is not necessary for the recovery to be measured and the recovery provisions of 17.6.3 shall not apply. So we need to find out the deflection. So if that deflection shown during 24 hours under load is less than 40 L square by D. So that should satisfy this formula. That is the deflection is less than this formula. Then it is not necessary for the recovery to be measured and the recovery provisions given in 17.6.3 shall not apply. So 40 L square by D we need to consider to find out the deflection. L is the effective span and D is the overall depth of the section in MM. For example, let's consider the slab section. So here the shorter span is 2 meter, effective span 2 meter and overall depth of the slab as 130 mm. Let's consider 130 mm. Let's calculate 40 L square by D. Here L is the effective span in meter. This we need to notify because while calculation we tend to convert this one into mm. We should not do that. Here effective span shall be in meter and depth of the section shall be in mm. So 40 multiplied by 2 square 
divided by 130 we get 1.23 mm so the maximum deflection in mm shown during 24 hours under loading is less than this calculation then the it is not necessary for the recovery to be measured for example we have got the deflection as 1.23 mm then after load test and uh, sorry under load test if we get the deflection less than this 1.23 mm means then we need not consider this recovery process next members other than flexural member members other than flexural member should be preferably investigated by analysis so friends that's all about the load test for flexural member i hope you all like this video please do comment in the comment box if you have any queries your comments are welcome if you like the content hit the like button also share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos thank you for watching